Now we are under an excessive heat warning with some people experiencing power outages because of it. Thanks for joining us at five. I'm Daniel Marine and I'm Jennifer Sanders. This isn't the first time the weather has impacted power in Texas, but there are some things you can do about it. The Public Utility Commission of Texas investigates complaints against electric companies. Now the data obtained by KXN investigators shows Encore as the largest electric utility in the state, serving nearly 13 million customers, has accumulated the most complaints. KXN investigator reporter Kelly Wiley here in the studio breaking down those numbers for us. Thanks for having me. In 2022, customers sent over 17,000 complaints to the PUC about electric companies. The complaints range from quality of service to billing issues. In 2022, 1,100 of those complaints focused on Encore. The next top two, Texas New Mexico Power Company and Intergy Texas Inc. Don't uh, they don't serve Central Texas, those last two that I mentioned to you. This year, a new PUC rule means an electric service provider needs to respond quicker to complaints. It goes from 21 days to just 15, with the goal of people to get solutions quicker. The rule, though, will not take effect until September. After the company gets the complaints, PUC then investigates them, and they're making sure the company followed all the laws in responding. Now, we did reach out to these companies. In a statement, Encore said it has continuously prioritized re uh, reliability related improvements and investments across their system. And they added that they appreciate feedback from customers and thoroughly and timely respond to PUC complaints as required by law. Back to you. All right, Kelly, thank you very much. And Austin Energy says these high temperatures could cause more power outages. The heat was to blame for outages last week that affected thousands. The increased number of people using energy combined with high temperatures caused some of the wires and equipment to break down. And last night, 2,700 customers in East Austin lost power. Austin Energy says that power outage was possibly related to the heat as well. Now, we did ask if Austin Energy's equipment is weatherized for heat. The utility said the power plants are, but there's no way to weatherize all 12,000 miles of wire that supply energy to individual homes. 